Hello, everyone, and welcome to another episode of Taste of Dragons, the podcast, the game podcast that all you New Yorkers listen to. My name is Brian. Amanda. I'm Troy. And I'm Joe. And we also have a special guest this week, right, Joe? That's right. Coming all the way back from the NYC, the Big Apple, the prodigal son himself, we've got Louis. Hey, yeah, I'm back. Woo! Woo! Woo. Welcome back. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. That was a beautiful intro. I liked it. Uh, thanks. It's what I do. I know. Yeah. Give, give me the tingles. Indeed. So, how's New York? <laughs> it's uh, it's hard. It's yeah. It's it's hard. It's difficult. Great. Anyway, it's, video games. Yeah. The video no, games. Let's move on. I'm just joking. Are, are there other New Yorkers that listen along with you? Because I I said all New Yorkers. So <laughs> yeah. Whenever I tell people, I'm like, yeah, I listen to this video game podcast. I'm like, wait, you're into video games? Yeah. Wait, you were on a podcast? Well, yeah, not anymore. But my friends do it. Oh my god, tell me what it is. I tell them. I don't know if they listen, but I tell them and give them the links. Good. And good, all that good, good, good stuff. Good. How are you finding the gaming community uh, up at your school? It's me. Cool. <laughs> That's cool. about it. Cool. Anyone else that says, oh, I play video games, it's because every once in a while they'll play like that one that one fighting game. Ah, uh, the oh. UFC championships. That some, sometimes, <laughs> or like Mortal Kombat. Yeah, I love video games. I remember playing when I was a kid, and now like I always love like Gran Turismo and... Like, okay. uh, like Halo, okay. so they, and DDR then, Extreme, and, and then and, <laughs> a, classic. a classic. And then I'm like, oh, and then I'm like, oh, do you play this, this, and this? I'm like, what are those? See, you went in too deep. Yeah, you, you have to just ag- I have agree no with one... what they meet them where they're at. If it's just Mortal Kombat and Dance Dance Revolution, and that's all you got to talk you get, about. You got a yes and. I have no one to talk to, <laughs> like to talk about video games with. Well, luckily, we have a one-sided conversation through this podcast for you. One hundred percent. Yes, I listen, and then I comment like a weirdo. Not really. But. <laughs> do, do you actually like in your head? No. I mean, like sometimes in- I'm like, oh man, I would have said this. That would have been funny. Okay. <laughs> uh, has our uh, podcast inspired you to want to play other games? Yeah, for sure. Yeah. Um, like anything in particular? I mean, the, the goose. Oh, oh yeah. 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 Game. Literally, I, literally, I looked that up. Honk. And like I've been looking it up a bunch, and <laughs> I'm like, oh, I'm like, oh, I need to play this. Honk. It seems like ridiculousness. Honk. Honk. See, this Honk. is why Honk. I want to play it. <laughs> I just haven't yet. It's infuriating. That but like in the best is, way. It, that goose is infuriating. No, you're the goose. So it's, no, it's exactly. Great. I know. Yeah, you're yeah. flying high. Yeah. You, at least you know when you're gonna honk. At <laughs> least. <laughs> Constantly. They yeah. should come out with the sequel, and you should be one of the people. And oh then my the, God. The, the enemies are the goose, and you're just like, what did I do? <laughs> or if you're like a squirrel, and your job is to pester the goose. <laughs> while yeah. they're pestering people. That's where I went. I think you should play as that kid and that kid realizes that goose locked him in all these places and did all the things and it's about that kid getting revenge on the goose. No, it's, it's got to be a battle royale where there's 99 uh, villagers oh. and then yeah, there's nice. one person as the goose. The all-powerful yeah. goose. Yeah. Or Gosh. It's like the, the kid but he's just traumatized. He's afraid of geese. Yeah. Uh, he grows up, gets real grizzled and hard. It becomes like a weird horror game, like a survival horror game where like, he sees the goose everywhere it's actually the uh, the premise behind dr sleep the video game oh my oh, god yeah. what yeah. is that the, the new movie the new movie oh uh, from um, the shining from the shining the sequel oh to the, shining. the ewan mcgregor yeah thing? yeah <laughs> okay but with the goose but with the goose. Goose. Yeah, goose yeah the spooky. goose has the shining well it is kind of spooky we're coming up on halloween aren't we that's right yeah, yeah. Uh, this week. <laughs> get out your scary games get out your spooktacular outfits that's right turn the lights off get low Get Wait, re- that's not Halloween. No, that's not, that's <laughs> not that. that's just, I mean, later on, then that's just, I mean, you, you, you do what you got to do. Huh? That's just a Friday, I guess. That's just a yeah. Sunday night. Isn't Halloween on Thursday? Uh, yes. It's just yes. a Thursday. It's just a, yeah, do it. But up. it's Friday once it's late at night. So. Ah. <laughs> well, glad to have you back, Lewis. Thanks. Happy that that you're uh, you're you're listening and that uh, you're back to contribute to this episode of yeah. some, some video game, it. some video game nonsense. Right. It's been hard to play while I've been up there, but I've played some stuff. I, I hope you have one for us this week. I, <laughs> I got one. It's an old one, That's but fine. I got it. All right. <laughs> well, you know, let's get into that, right? Let's get, let's sure. get into that. Sure. Do 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 What are you playing? I dig it. I love it. I want it every week. Um, <laughs> so, uh, you know, Last of Us 2 is coming out. And um, I picked up Last of Us again because for this month it's free. That's right. The remastered edition with the DLC. Um, oh, yeah. Yeah, completely free. So I started playing that again. And in playing it, it just 
brings back memories of when I first played it and that shock in the beginning and the sadness. And um, it actually, my dragon of the week has to do with that that game. Shh, spoilers. Whoa. Scott, spoilers. what? It's a, it's, a, it's a tease. <laughs> yeah. Okay, all right. Who knows what it is? Could be, a little taste. Could be, yeah. could be a little anyone. Taste. Could be the guy that made the grass. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I would listen to that. I would. <laughs> but no, that game is just so beautifully made. And it's just pure story and pure character development. And um, So, question. Question, please ask. Um, since that game for me, when I played it, was, was so... Um, the moments were so jarring, surprising, elevating. Now that you're reliving that a second time, are they just as impactful or is it you appreciating it in a different way? Uh, I'd say a mixture of both. I say because it's been so long since I've played it. Um, so I remember like big things that happened, but then small moments are what I don't remember um, very clearly. Okay. You know, like just small dialogue moments that they have. Mm-hmm. Um, and like small story little things that happen. Like one of the things I remember, uh, the giraffes um, mm-hmm. towards the end when like you see those giraffes and you're just like watching them graze across like mm-hmm. this urban landscape. Mm-hmm. Um, stuff like that. But then it's also giving me like a nostalgic feel where um, it's kind of making me think, oh man, more games need to step in this direction. <laughs> I love this just pure story driven thing where it's like it kind of gives you the illusion of an open world within each section, Mm -hmm. but then it contains it because it's trying to take you down a very direct path. Um, Oh, do you think that, I mean, it has influenced games? Oh, for sure. Like, definitely. God of Um, War comes to mind as being very Last of Us. 100%. Those guys played Last of Us. Like, it was no (laughs) one's business. For sure, because, I mean, God of War expanded on it, especially with the random moments of dialogue that Last of Us has. And God of War is like, what if we had that, but like 10 times that? What if we did this, but instead of a girl, it's a boy. It's a a boy. (laughs) A boy. Boy. Just a lot of boy. (laughs) Just a lot of that. Um, So definitely there's been um, video games now that have taken inspiration from Last of Us. I would say Uncharted 4, too. Yeah, Yeah, I would say Uncharted Uncharted 4. Very story driven. Even the colors. It looks like they're wearing the same shirts. (laughs) Yeah. Oh, my God. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and um, just uh, how such a brutal world and brutal game can have such lovely light moments um, kind of, I don't know, makes me appreciate it and makes me notice that in other games that are now doing it, God of War, um, the yeah. Uncharted's, um, all these games that are coming out now and that I'm, I've seen trailers for that are coming out eventually. Um yeah, I don't know. I, I love playing. I loved playing it again. I I played it through quickly since I already knew <laughs> how to do things. Uh, I wasn't trying to figure out how to do certain points. But um, yeah, I don't know. I loved it. I, I'm glad I got to play it again. I'm glad. I, I'm glad I got it for free. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I got it for free with the DLC. I had to borrow it the first time I played it. I borrowed oh. it. Yeah. So you've never paid for a copy of Last of Us? No. Well, I technically didn't. it's a subscription, so yeah. So you know, technically, your 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 money is mixed in there somewhere. Yeah. Actually, yeah. you know what? I did okay because the original came out for PS3. Correct. I did pay for it for PS3 for my brother's PS3. Okay. And I played it on his system. Ah. So then I didn't keep the game. So you owned it. But I owned borrowed it. it at the same time. <laughs> yeah. Th- exactly. I borrowed the system, owned the game. Wow. That's yeah. a tagline if I've ever heard one. Yeah. But then the DLC I got because my friend gave me the full remastered edition for yes. PS4, and I played that forever ago, and then now I'm doing it all again for free. I love it. Nice. Ish. Yeah. That game is amazing. Yeah. It's beautiful. And, you know, that's the best way to play it, for free. For free, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, mind you, I would give I would give them my money. They that's nice of you to say. Them. You don't <laughs> have to say it just because the mics are on. It's okay. <laughs> it's, no, no, no. no. <laughs> Last of Us 2. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I Last of Us 2. It's okay. Look, look, I get it. You're I a nice guy. You're a nice guy. I ordered Last of Us 2, okay? I, I paid for it. It's done. <laughs> it happened. I don't care what happens with it down the line. If it doesn't come out for, like, another year. <laughs> Whatever. I paid for it. It's done. Yeah. Okay. It's going to be Red Dead Redemption all Red, over. For yeah. <laughs> I pre-ordered Red Dead Redemption almost a year and a half more, and yeah. then it was delayed. Yeah. And was. Whatever. Yeah. Well, good job there, Lewis. I'm a smart person. <laughs> you are. You're, you're, you're smart enough. Uh, <laughs> let's go to you, Joe. What did you play this week? Uh, I, I finally got to start playing The Witcher 3 on the Switch. Ooh. Ooh. Tell us yeah. about yes. it. Tell and us I, I actually, I need to correct something. So as I started playing this game, a game I was very sure I had already played. I've never played this game before. 
<laughs> what do you mean? Like I kept thinking, I think Witcher Two is Witcher Three. Oh, oh like no. that's the level of of how I'm like, yeah, I've totally played this game before. They are wildly different. Wow, yeah. 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 right. Like I was I started up like, how do I? How do I not know what's going on? I could swear I've already played this. And you know, the opening sequence happens. I'm like, so, so it's it's some of the things that they're they're telling you about uh-huh, in right. the opening. And I was like, oh yeah, I've I've been through this. It's fine. I go to the the just the very beginning with the tutorial system, and I was like, I don't remember how the combat works in this game. Oh yeah, I don't remember any of this. Oh yeah. Wow, good thing I left the tutorial on. <laughs> I'll get it at some point. I, we're looking for Jennifer, and I'm like. Wait a minute! What, she doesn't look like that. What is happening? <laughs> Pure yeah. confusion. I, Jennifer's I not told even you, in those first two games. No, and I think I only remember her because of the books now. Oh, wow, no. which is so, even better. Which is so good. What I add, if you haven't read them, they are actually Amazing. unbelievable. The short stories are great. The books themselves, wonderful. Yeah. Um, but but that being said, I totally thought I had played this game. I'm gonna nope. go ahead and change my oh no into a oh yeah. Dude, right. I'm so excited it's, for yeah, you. It's That's far, such a good game. It's been phenomenal. You loving it. I love. I love it. How does it look? Okay. You mean on the Switch? Yeah, on I, the Switch. You I mean have the yeah. Switcher three. The Switcher three. Uh, <laughs> oh god! I don't no. have any problems with it actually because I do not play with my Switch docked almost ever. Oh. Okay. I bought Ring Fit, and this is going to be the first time that I plug my Switch into the dock to play a game in oh, probably since the boxing game came out. So wow. I play handheld. It, yeah. It looks fine yeah. because I'm playing it on a screen that's tiny. True. I can't really tell you what's wrong with it if it doesn't look right, if the pixels are weird or anything. Like it still looks like a PS4 game to me. It's definitely not running as beautifully as it probably could after playing like something cell shaded and fun like Link's Awakening or you know like one of those kinds of games that are very not as strenuous on the system to make it look nice. Yeah. After playing things like that, it's very noticeable that there is definitely like it's lagging. Yikes. But it's not it's not lagging in a way where I'm not enjoying myself. Mm. So are you are you a uh, Geralt Rivera Rivera Rivia Rivia Rivia? Geraldo Rivera Um, (laughs) Geraldo Rivia Are you playing them neutral angry nice What's your What's your approach Thus far I have been very neutral and nice Okay I have not done I have not said anything that would be the the closer of a conversation when it's too soon Uh I'll check every single one of the things that you have an option for unless it like a when you meet the guy before you start playing the games, mm-hmm. uh, you have two choices. You have to either say something kind of negative or something that's kind of neutral, but I think that's supposed to be the positive form of what Geralt would want to say. Yeah. And I, I always chose to continue talking with the person if possible because I want more information because I don't remember the game. <laughs> so, yeah. And I don't want to miss something. Did you, did you get to Gwent? Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm literally right there. Yeah. Oh, I'm man. talking to that guy. And he was like, you want to play? And I'm like, yeah, I want to play. Yeah, I want to play like right now. And then we had, I don't remember what we had to do. We had to go to rehearsal or something. I was like, curse words. I really need to go. I can't, I can't, I can't. I got to stop playing this game. And then I just, uh, I have, it's, that was yesterday or the day before. And I have to go back, but I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to just get, get locked in games. I'm just going to play the game forever. So, so you're digging the game. Little, I love it so far. Uh, yeah. That it's game beautiful. Uh, took almost 200 hours for wow. me. Wow. Same. Or with all the DLC. Same. Everything mm-hmm. included. Same. And also, I was the biggest Gwent head. Like, I, I, I went as far as I could with Gwent in that game. Mm-hmm. I'm That'll... probably not going to do anything else Tro- for a while. Mm-hmm. Troy killed a king in order to get a Gwent card. Like, that's how Gwent Troy is. He's oh. like, well, I'm not going to do that mission. And then they're the... like, well, that's the last card you need. He's like, well, then that guy's dead because like, <laughs> nothing else is Because that's done. In the book, he, uh, you know, he's very neutral. So I tried to play him as close to the books as possible. Yes. Until yeah, I needed to like make a start an uprising for a card. <laughs> so whatever, <laughs> it happens. <laughs> the, comparatively to the book, I am actually very surprised in the opening to this that he's su- he is actually very positive. Yeah, like mm-hmm. he has a much more like youthful, exuberant look to the world <laughs> yeah. comparative to the book, which is completely neutral. He, yeah. it, it's not that he doesn't think the world is dark or, or or light in any way. It's just he just kind of traverses through it in gray. Mm-hmm. He doesn't really care. He's much more emotional in the game. It's, yeah. Yes. Oh, for sure. Yes. You have to spend so much time with him. He better be. <laughs> for sure. Like they're not going to give us this guy who's just this for the two hundred plus hours. That's you're a playing. different game. Yeah. <laughs> that's a different. That's a different game. Play that it's, game later. It's also like in the book. It's like almost nothing that somebody tells him is exactly what happens. It's like, oh, oh yeah. hey, by the way, you gotta, you know, I need to find this person because you know this. And he's like. All right, I can't wait to see what the catch is with this. <laughs> he just yeah. goes out and they like, tell them their side. He's like, "Yep, that's what I thought." And then he goes back oh, and then he just like s- says the other stuff. And the guy's like, "Well, it's not exactly." He's like, "Yeah, I know. Just tell me everything, man." <laughs> it's like, "Yeah, no. You want me to get your sister? Oh, by the way, your sister is a screaming corpse bride. Right? You just left that out. Yeah, Fine. forgot Fine. to mention it. You know what? 
<laughs> I'm neutral. I don't even care. Just let me do the job. Yeah. It's just going to cost you extra. Right. <laughs> yeah. I feel like that's all it is. I feel like people are just trying to chintz him out, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. Like, I'd still do the job. Just let me know so I could not be dead at the end of it. <laughs> I, mean, like, I, I just want to be prepared, all right? If it's a corpse person, I need to, you know, drink some other stuff, man, you it's, know? <laughs> it's like if you didn't tell your plumber there was an alligator in the bathroom. Just tell him. I mean, you can let handle him know. it. Yeah. Instead of just calling oh. him and saying, I can't go in there, it doesn't work. I mean, he's going to open the door and, and get in. He's going to figure it out. He's going to yeah. know. <laughs> it's going to cost extra, uh, but. Well, yeah. At least I know what to do now if there's ever an alligator in our bathroom. You call the plumber. Call the yeah. plumber. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Welcome to Florida. <laughs> I probably would call our plumber. <laughs> That's who you'd call yeah. them. <laughs> Your plumber sounds awesome. So, <laughs> he's not. <laughs> that's, that's, oh, it's the opposite. <laughs> gotcha. Gotcha. The reverse, <laughs> right, right. <laughs> he sucks so bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, uh, then there's an alligator the, there. The valve, the valve of the thing. Yeah, yeah. We gotta take a look. Take a look. Yeah. yeah. When he leaves, you want to drink a water? There's an alligator. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be in the other room if you need me on this chair. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, nice game there, Joe. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, I'll go next. I've been playing a game called Autonauts. Ooh. A U T O N A U T S. That's a great name. It's yeah. a pretty great name. Uh, basically, it's you, um, like trying to just like research stuff. You're you like land on a planet, and uh, all the planets are completely uh, procedurally generated. Is this so No can... Man's Sky? Are you just playing No Man's Sky no, and trying to call it something else, Brian? I know <laughs> no. you like No Man's Sky. You can tell us if you're just playing No Man's Sky. You can talk about it for another week. It's fine. I know. I could, but no, it's not. Okay. Uh, <laughs> it's a very tiny world. Um, and so you land on the planet, and you're just going to spend your entire time on this planet. It's basically like 2D-ish, kind of isometric. Okay. Uh, but uh, you have to build bots in order to do things for you, in order to research more stuff. And so the entire game is just uh, automating bots to do the work. So it's auto-bots. Yes, that's it's copyrighted. Not auto not can't call them yeah. autobots. Can't call them no. autobots. But then you're also an astronaut. Oh. so you know, not. combine the two words. Uh. Why is it not astrobots? Probably because somebody else already did that. Oh, okay. oh yeah, there's astrobot. That's <laughs> yeah. a yeah. VR yeah. game. Yeah, that's a thing. That's an awesome <laughs> VR game. Uh, but yeah, so you're in this entire game is just you programming bots by showing them what to do. And then they do it. So they just copy you. You don't have to actually get in there and program them. They just look at you doing something, and then their AI is like, all right, I'll pick up that piece of corn. Exactly. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, that's (laughs) exactly what it is. Oh, okay. Like, it's it's you saying, all right, I want you to dig this ground. And then, like, you can, like, do a... um, like a radius of what you want them to dig. So they'll dig up everything until they're done digging. And then, you, you know, come back in a month and there's just it, in the core of the planet. Yeah. <laughs> Wally's still there. <laughs> they went, just they, recycling they went stuff. Deep. They went too deep. <laughs> Brian, how many bots do you have? Uh, I have, a, I have probably probably around a hundred, a hundred wow. bots. Are you nice to all your bots? Of course. Do you ever do something that's maybe a little mean or maybe a little lewd and they <laughs> copy you? No, there's there's none of that. You sure? <laughs> but there's not one bot who thinks they could run this place I'm, and isn't talking to the other bots about how maybe they should, <laughs> you know, put something together, maybe down the line. Like a bot union. Maybe a, a bot, bot union. union. <laughs> maybe they're like, hey, this this hole is dug enough. Maybe I don't have to dig this hole. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? It's possible. Have you planned for this? I have not planned for this. Have you taught the other bots to kill the other bots yet? <laughs> I mean, they they do use axes. Mm-hmm. Oh God! At your best. <laughs> oh, no. Listen, I'm telling you, we've seen it before. We have. Judgment we have. Day is upon you. You know, thankfully, you know, I haven't given them brains big enough in order to do anything else. That's mm. what you think. I Until know. they make their own brain. <laughs> it. it I will evolving. say it. It is pretty cool though because uh, you upgrade your bots as you go along. So you start with like some. Not so great bots that can't hold that much. And then you, uh, as you research more stuff, you get better bots that can mm-hmm. hold more. They have bigger brains. So uh, their brains is basically, they can only do a certain amount of moves. Mm-hmm. So if you try to have them do something that's too complex, they can't. So you have to build a better bot that will have more space in order for you to do more commands. What's the art style look like? Um, Man, it's like very basic 3D. Like okay. it's it, the the gameplay is much more in the gameplay versus the looks of the yeah. game, uh, so it's very basic 3D. You're you're mostly zoomed out most of the time, so is you're this not PC? like 
Yes, this is PC. I figured. Uh, so it's on wow. Steam, I think, right Judgment, now. Judgment, Lewis. <laughs> I just figured. You figured. Yeah. But I will say, because I, I do program, I would. there's so many times where I just want to be like, let me just program this real quick. Let me just type this out because it's so much easier than having to wait to like show you to do each one of these steps. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, I, I'm sure down the line I can like copy one one bots program and put it into another one, but oh, I can't do yeah, that right now. Yeah. So every single new one that I build, I have to show them the exact same thing if I want them to do the same thing. So mm. it's a little tedious, but I'm enjoying the hell out of the game. So it's not too, I don't think it's that expensive either. I think it's only like twenty bucks. That's not bad. So it's not bad. But yeah, I've gotten a lot of lot of enjoyment out of it so far. I think I'm about fifteen hours in. So beautiful. Yeah, nice. Real nice, nice. Real nice game. So how about you, Amanda? What did you been playing? I have been playing uh, Ring Fit Adventures, Ooh. which is the the silly game that came out for the Switch with the ring and the leg hey, wait a strap. Second. That's a new release. Ooh, <laughs> Ooh yes, <laughs> it did just come out. Uh, I got it last Thursday, and I've played it every day since I got it. Uh, it's uh, the first <laughs> the the first day after I got it, I couldn't walk. My calves hurt so much. <laughs> <laughs> Progress. <laughs> um, but the game the game is a lot of fun. Uh, there are two things that I hate about exercising, which is uh, I don't like counting while I exercise, and uh, I get really bored really easily. So I don't mm. like doing the same thing over and over again. And mm. they 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 combat both of those really easily. Um, if you haven't seen the game, you're kind of like you have the uh, like a ring and the the um, we vote the switch Joy-Con. cons. Yeah, Joy-Con uh, slips in the ring, and then you have one that, that sits in your thigh, and then you do a bunch of exercises to fight monsters. And it's huh. a lot more engaging than I thought it would be. I actually watched a video of someone playing it, and they came out, and they really liked the game afterwards, and I was like, they probably paid her. But I actually really liked the game. <laughs> Dope. Wait, are you getting paid to say this, Amanda? I'm not. <laughs> um, I've I played a lot of the, the other like silly Wii fitness things or the, the Just Dance games, and mm-hmm. I think this is better than the other ones that I've played. Um, I definitely Why? feel like I'm actually exercising versus like going like it's not just like oh I'm sweating because I'm running in place mm-hmm. like the things that they have you do with the ring uh, which I've learned from a friend is a Pilates ring which is like totally a regular piece of exercise equipment huh. that has existed for a very long time and we should just know what this is um, but uh, the things you do like they actually work my muscles in like the correct ways huh. and, um, yeah because cool. what I remember with the, the Wii Fit and the balance board uh, you just did exercises while holding the Wii Fit, and there was nothing really while holding the uh, the Wii remote. Yeah, and there was nothing really <laughs> that you needed the remote for, nope. except for it, I guess, yeah. to uh, track what you're doing. Yeah, but it tracks it, your upper body a little bit. But versus, the remote yeah. itself isn't doing anything. Yeah, it wasn't for a you. weight. You weren't lifting right. the remote yeah, 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 to gotcha. get reps and in or something. The balance board is just giving you information, really. Mm-hmm. And which it really made exercising harder being on the balance right. board. Yeah. <laughs> Whereas this uh, this ring has a lot of uh, attention to it. Like I, I took it and to to get my measurements, I had to like push it in as far as I could to measure my strength and then pull it out. And like that's actually working out some muscles there. That's not just <laughs> holding a remote. Like that's actually having to activate I genuinely uh, can only play this game for 20 minutes and then I'm tired. Like I have to stop because I'm going to hurt myself. <laughs> like and and the nice part is is like I want to play it more and I can't. So it's great uh, to keep me coming back because I was like, oh, I want to see what the next thing is. <laughs> or like um, all of the levels, like some of them you run through and then it's kind of Mario style, you pick up coins or collect things. And it's so distracting that I'm not paying attention to how far I'm running. Like normally I'll get in my own head, head about things. I'm like I've been running for a really long time and I'm tired, but really I'm, I'm just like, oh, I have to get that ring. <laughs> it's on the left. <laughs> so I have to, do, and you have to do different motions to do different things. Like uh-huh. you can, uh, you can blow at things and it'll knock them over. Or you can use like a suction cup motion and then they'll come towards you. Huh. Um, and by doing a combination of things, you collect all of these items that you can use to build other items or get new equipment. And I'm so in the game of it that I'm not focusing on the fact that, you know, I've run uh, half a kilometer or something like that in this level. Yeah, you don't realize um, that it's gaming you. It well. is, but like in, an, in such a nice way. Yeah. Um, and also it like um, it adjusts its difficulty depending on like uh, the, the tension tests. So I imagine if someone um, didn't exercise as much as I did or even if someone exercised like way more than I did that they would still be able to get some kind of workout because they adjust the tensions and the reps based on your level of physical activity oh, that's um, cool. so like when you go to do it it's challenging for you but it would also be challenging for like a wide variety of folks nice um, nice. That's pretty cool. Uh, uh, every day is an adventure because I wake up sore in a different way. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. That's uh, my favorite part that I've seen of it is in the story mode, the adventure mode, there is a main villain that is a uh, muscle-bound bodybuilding dragon Ooh. named Drag. 
<laughs> it's like dragon, but like G E A U X. And he's good. yeah, he's just like this, like what's up, bro? Like muscle head, you know, one of those gym rats. Uh, All right. Which I can't wait to rank that dragon. Yeah. It, one day. It's cute because like you're not fighting against like someone who's obese. It's or like lazy. That, symbolically, it's uh-huh. not a lazy guy. It's like that guy at the gym that makes you don't want to exercise because he's so fit and then he's mean to you. Like that's the bad guy. They're, and they're like, don't be like that. <laughs> teaching you the follies of being too exercise conscious. <laughs> I feel like they've listened to this podcast and that's why it's a dragon. <laughs> that's yes. exactly oh, absolutely. Why absolutely. Yeah. Like we got to get on that list. That's yeah. right. <laughs> it was gonna, it was gonna be some random like goat type monster and then they decided to switch it to dragon obviously obviously like, and nah, they're we- like they're like make him more buff he's got to be better than mushu he can't get to- below mushu <laughs> <laughs> he has to be better than mushu <laughs> And then they're about to release them, and then they saw the the one that we got from the boxing game. Say Ryu, yeah, the and the abs. They had the abs. <laughs> and like, oh, it's got to be way better than that guy. Many more abs. Ma- yeah. Put in more abs. More. <laughs> I mean, this has got to be like high up on the list, guys. It can't be as low down as him. <laughs> well, well, look, awesome. Looking forward to ranking that dragon, and also to uh, your health. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, wait, don't don't raise your arms too high. Don't. don't, don't. <laughs> oh no, I, my abs are. Uh, <laughs> I ate half a sandwich and then I was tired. <laughs> and you're like, and that's done. Thank I'd you. like put the other half away and eat it later. So I was hungry but tired. <laughs> you ate half a sandwich, but how many sandwiches does this game have for you? Ooh. Oh, if we use our standard scale of five sandwiches, I would give it five sandwiches. I, okay. I really like it. You just yeah. can't eat them. I can't eat them. <laughs> I'll look at them. <laughs> it's five sandwiches, maybe, a half sandwich at a time. <laughs> maybe tomorrow my arms will be tired. I'll, 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 like, I'll eat them like a, out of a dog bowl or something. Oh, God. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, Troy, round us out. What you got? Okay, I played a hot new release called, mm. uh, called Assassin's Creed Odyssey. Now, you may be thinking, Troy, you're goofing. <laughs> Assassin's Creed Odyssey came out in 2018, and I would have to say, you're correct. Uh, but this year, um, Assassin's Creed has adopted a very interesting uh, business plan for their uh, post-game support, and they decided to support this 2018 game uh, with a lot of extra content throughout all of 2019. Pretty much every month, they come out with a video updating the game with either new weapons, new enemies, new ship battles, new monsters, cyclopses, all of that, new missions. And what they've added to this game, I think is truly remarkable. And I kind of wish that people knew they were doing this because I think it could be game changing. Mm-hmm. For example, a few of the things they've added beyond just regular expansion type story uh, DLC. Um, they added a story created mo- creator mode where you as a person can go into the tools that make Assassin's Creed Odyssey and build your own story missions. I played a mission of someone who lost their sock. <laughs> <laughs> Made by, you know, Joseph 420 Bonghead, you know, from <laughs> Arkansas. Great I know him. I know it, him. Was, yeah. it was called Socrates Lost Sock. Oh, my God. Oh, Socrates. Yes. Ah. That's, That's great. gold. I'm telling you. <laughs> this is just user-based stuff. So the Odyssey will never end. Um, it knows, there's no voice acting. It's all just written dialogue. Right. But the mission structure is all, all, all there. You go there to talk to someone. They tell you to go somewhere else. You fight some dudes or you don't. They even have dialogue options available for the users, which is incredible hmm. um, it, it being used. And I've just like g- tapped to the very uh, uh, surface of, of where that content could go. Have you made a story? I tried, um, but you can't do it in the game. You have to go to the, the Ubisoft website oh, okay. and like sign in to your Ubisoft the account. Process. Yeah, you need like a computer computer to do it because you're going to be typing and stuff. Yeah. Right. right. And, um, um, does do the missions give you rewards? They do. <laughs> so uh, there are, and they have names too. And okay. I think I saw one title. There's like Socrates sock. Uh-huh. Um, but then there's one title that's just like easy XP and loot money. <laughs> and you just click on yeah. it. And apparently, I didn't do this myself because I have integrity. Um, <laughs> apparently, uh, it's just like a, like a five minute quest. And then it just kills you with a bunch of loot and money and all that. And it's like nothing. It's like, you know, talk to a goat or something. That sounds actually pretty fun. It does. <laughs> yeah. um, so that's one of the things they added. They also added um, uh, a discovery mode, which is a educational tour guide of ancient Greece that has full narration from a tour guide. Meaning, they have this with uh, Assassin's Creed Egypt as well, but this is even bigger. Yeah, Origins. Like, you can go to Athens and, like, go right up to the, what is it, the the Parthenon? Yeah. And there will be a guided tour 
that will take you through the Parthenon and talk about the paintings, the architecture, the history, the significance, where it is now. They'll show you real pictures of it, uh, like an actual like museum. Huh. Wow. There's no enemies in the world. They take all the combat out. You can play as anybody in the game, so you don't have to just stick with you know the, the two main characters. Because uh, you can just take any model you want. You can run around as Socrates. Um, <laughs> and you can just learn. <laughs> like, That's what? When crazy. They, when they released this for Origins, they were talking about releasing a version without the game in it that was just this this section for schools. So I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't do that for Odyssey, since this is that that same mechanic but expanded exponentially like how beautiful would that be to be in middle school and instead of having to open a book to learn about ancient greece they just gave you assassin's creed the discovery oh mode only and said okay the book report's going to be on on uh, zeus and uh, and hera and then you have to run around and find the stories how they related to actual ancient greece and their influence on the society and mm-hmm. then write about it that that's awesome okay that would be great but what if they added like dysentery to it <laughs> What? And like, you know, what? like Oregon Trail no. type mechanics to this. I always ask myself that question, not just in video games. No, just when like, is dysentery in going to come into play? I mean, it's affected me a lot less than I thought it would considering Oregon Trail. Almost everybody died from it. That's true. Right, right, right. I mean, I did learn a lot playing that game in school. So um, they have a lot of things that are probably worse <laughs> oh, in ancient yeah. Greece. Yeah. <laughs> that in, involve certain aspects of the culture. Um, <laughs> maybe dysentery is involved in some of those acts. Probably. But so are other bodily fluids, uh, oh. which you can learn all about in <laughs> the discovery <laughs> of uh, Assassin's Creed uh, Odyssey. Um, so that's just two things. The main thing that I went through was the actual expansion, which furthers the story along, which they released every other month. Uh, the first half about, of, it, of it, I'm not going to talk about. It's just about trying to find... Uh, the very first Assassin's Blade, and it ties it up very nicely. Nice. But with the second half, what they do is they go to Crazy Town, and they take you to the an- to ancient mythological worlds, like Elysium, which is like the gods, like the ancient world's heaven, and the underworld, and Atlantis, and they recreate actual worlds, take you out of ancient Greece, and make fully realized versions of these places. Hmm. Elysium is beautiful. There's just always petals flowing in the air. There's <laughs> waterfalls surrounding incredible vistas and, 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 and just ancient ships stranded on, on mountaintops that are like majestic and Persephone, the most, she's like Charlie's Theron, <laughs> just presides <laughs> over this area with like elegance and like meanness. And then they throw you to the underworld where it's freaking miserable. Like, I, I cannot take my hats off enough to them making the underworld because I was actively hating playing that. <laughs> like, there's, there's just rivers of blood and then, like, ponds of bile and, like, lakes of piss. And everything just feels like you're living in a heart, in a hot fart. There's just, <laughs> Best description. There's just disembodied babies wailing always. There's places called the Chasm of Torment and the Village of the Damned, I just don't want to be there. <laughs> it was like really, everyone's throwing up when you walk by. There's one area where there's just snakes randomly everywhere, but you can't see them. They're just snakes everywhere. This is just horrible. It's like all the parts of the game that were uh, horrendous, they just shoved into the underworld. Um, and it was, I mean, effective. <laughs> <laughs> that um, sounds awesome, though. Not that whole whatever, but just that addition <laughs> to the game sounds really, really cool. Yeah, because it, it broke away from like the hey, we're trying to create some some actual architecture from the real world and let them turn their imaginations on to just go. We're just gonna go with some weird stuff. We're mm-hmm. gonna make gods, Hermes, Persephone, Hades, yeah. Hades, who's a cross between Loki and Dracula. Hilarious. <laughs> um, <laughs> And then finally, you end in Atlantis, where it, it's it's a culmination of a lot of the earlier series. They're kind of codex where you hear about the ones who came before and the the origin story of of of, of all of this mystery that goes around with this game. All kind of comes to a head in Atlantis, and it's really interesting trying to uncover those things. It's a good payoff for being as nerdy as I was uh, w- playing the other games. Mm-hmm. I know some people don't like the, the out of game story that they're more into like the historical bit, but I've always really loved, um, the, the, the first civilization narrative that they've kind of hid in places. And it was so nice to see some of it pay off to be like, <laughs> Oh, this is what happened here. And this is what's, you know, the deal with this. And this connects to that piece. I think they could do more, but, uh, I'm also biased. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was, it was very effective. And I, I left pretty, feeling pretty satisfied uh, but the most remarkable thing is that there's still more to do yeah. i finished all that stuff and there's still more things because what's remarkable is this is a single player game which 
he doesn't really have a life usually beyond the main campaign. Maybe a couple expansions. But they found a way to breathe life into this for a year now. Yeah. It's October. That's when this game came out last year. And I'm still playing new content. I think if other game companies could afford to do that and could, <laughs> uh, that would be a game changer like for, for all single player games. Yeah. Did uh, this uh, did this cost any more or was it, this it free? Was, it was part of the season pass. Okay. So I don't know exactly how much that was. Probably like 30 bucks. Okay. Um, but that's just for the story stuff. The mm-hmm. rest of the additions, the discovery mode, the create a character, the create a story, mm-hmm. the, the new bosses and levels and all that, all that is free. Oh, nice. They just oh, wow. inject it into the game. Very nice. Uh, which is remarkable. More people should do that. Do that more. <laughs> do, that more. <laughs> do that more with games. Do it. Nice. Yeah. Very nice. Very nice. It was an odyssey. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so was uh, us talking about games this week was an odyssey. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, I, I blame it on Lewis. You know, it's, he's back. It's me. You it's know, we're me. back to to being almost forty minutes with games. It's fine. It's, it's fine. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so let's move on to our next segment. News, 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 uh, there's another game that came out this year that uh, that also had some other fun stuff going on. Resident Evil 2. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. The remake. Uh, the remake. They're the same. Yeah, of course. Hand in hand. And uh, so in Resident Evil 2, you know, you had Mr. X who chased you around the entire time. And an Untitled Goose game, you had a goose that chased other people around all the time. <laughs> uh, so somebody combined those two and modded the goose into Resident Evil 2 <laughs> as Mr. X and kept the fedora hat on him. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it's not completely finished yet, but somebody has released the, the, like, the opening cinematic when you first meet Mr. X, which he's just like, you know, whatever the hell he's doing, you lifting something up. Mr. Goose. <laughs> Mr. Goose. <laughs> Mr. Goose. Mr. Honk. Uh, when he's lifting up something, and it's just the goose lifting something. It's hilarious. Honk gonna give it to you. Yep, gonna give it to you. Eh. Cool. So, uh, yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, and then also this past weekend was the Tetris World Championships. Ooh, um, fancy. So for the second year in a row, um, a person who is now 17 won. His <sighs> name is Joseph Saley. Uh, he was 16 last year when he won the championship. Wow. And Damn. he unseated the, uh, a guy who had won it seven times. So wow. he has now Damn. won two times in a row. Uh, watch the match. It's actually really great. Uh, it's him, and it's not the same guy. It's a different guy, and they actually went the the full length. They they had to play five matches. So okay. he and so last year, actually uh, years previous, there was only one thousand dollars that you would win, which you know is still a pretty good prize. Yeah, yeah. Uh, this year it's ten thousand dollars. Whoa! So seventeen year old won ten thousand dollars playing Tetris. Invest that money. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. Spend it. No. You invest. It. <laughs> <laughs> and that uh, that seventeen year old's going to be going to university soon, which is good because The Sims Four. Has a university expansion that was just announced. <laughs> he can practice. Nice, nice can transition. Practice. Nice transition. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be coming out next month, which is really soon, considering they just released what the Witch one last this month, last month. No, they yeah they did the Witch one, and then before that they did the Island one, and yeah. that was also fairly recently. Fairly recent. Yeah, yeah so. they're cranking them out. I'm just surprised it's been this long, and the varsity or the college version or the college expansion hasn't come out for Sims Four yet. Yeah, um, like um. Like, that's, like, the last missing piece that a lot of people need or, like, want. Like, because normally people want seasons, pets, and university. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, yeah, this is the last bit of piece of it. So, let's see how much longer this goes. Or maybe they're going to do it with Sims 5. Sims 5 I'm, coming out soon. I'm just I, don't, I feel like game. they should milk this forever. Yeah. As long as people are buying it. It still looks good. Oh, it yeah, still it plays fine. I'm, I don't, I'm yeah. just surprised that game still exists. I always forget that it exists. And then I <laughs> see things like this. And I'm like, right. That's a video game. Lewis, you're in it right now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah we're going to lock you in a swimming pool. You're never <laughs> going to get out. <laughs> um, and then another bit of fun news. So the Outer Worlds. Uh, Not to uh, be confused with Outer Wilds. The Outer Wilds. <laughs> the Outer Worlds, yes. uh, which is uh, done by Obsidian, is, is coming out or came out on Friday. Um, and so they did a Twitch play stream, which in case you don't know, they, they have an entire... Um, channel where you can log in or not log in but you can watch and then you can type chat commands that can control the character in the game oh. and so you know they've done it with Pokemon they've done it with um, many other games many other games uh, but they did it with the Outer Worlds before it even released and so 
uh, funny bit is that they walk up to the very first NPC, they talk to him, and then they pull out their gun and they shoot him. And they, <laughs> they kill the first NPC. <laughs> Welcome to humankind. Yep. <laughs> yep. Welcome to the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Welcome to herd mentality. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I thought that was hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, speaking of hilarious, WWE 2K20 oh release. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> and uh, just look up videos of its bugs. Yeah, check it out on Twitter. It's just so funny. Yeah. <laughs> so what what makes it funny is it glitches out. People move around. They show up without their face and all that. What's hilarious, though, is that the, comment- the commentators don't stop doing their commentating because nope. they're just audio. So there could be horrific things happening in the ring. People getting just... Uh, glitched on ropes and flying around the arena and the commentators are like wow what a move <laughs> oh they're really gonna feel that one in the morning like nothing's happening that's horrific that's a horror movie it's you described a so horror movie. good it is like, i'm gonna be so sad when they fix it i, I doubt they're ever gonna fix <laughs> it they like, should make that a game that is that, yeah, is, that sounds like the next bioshock right, right? How about that? <laughs> I'll do that. I, th- I think if they do fix it, they're going to leave the other mode like just as a, as a separate, you know, separate oh, menu man. option. I play that mode all the time. I mean, that glitch mode. It's the best. And uh, let's see here. Fallen Order, the the new Star Wars game, right? Mm-hmm. Fallen Order. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. going to have no fast travel. Yes, yes. They they uh, there was an article that came out that was talking about Fallen Order, and they said they would have no fast travel, but for a good reason. Uh-huh. Is that instead of clicking on your map and deciding to go to another era area and then reloading there, um, they built shortcuts into the map okay. so that you may have to go the long way the first time. But the more you play, the more you may realize, like, oh, oh if I if I you know go through this broken down spaceship, then maybe I can cut that corner, or maybe if you know if I jump down this area, that'll that'll avoid this climb. I I haven't seen any it, it in action, but it sounds very exciting. Uh-huh. The idea of exploring to earn the right to travel quicker rather than just clicking a button. Is it open world? Mm-hmm. Like, I guess so. I mean, yeah. if, if, if there's fast travel, then I would assume it's open world, yeah. Yeah, I guess. Which is your type of game. Hell yeah. It is. While I'm excited for that, I'm also a little bit sad because I need to beat that game in order to play Pokemon. <laughs> and, and that's just going to make it slower. <laughs> Yeah. What? You can't beat that game before you play Pokemon? Yeah, there's no way. If that's I'm not impossible. home, I'll be playing Pokemon. If okay. I am home, I got to try to get through Fallen Order. I think I can get through that quicker than I can Pokemon. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. That's fair. But like, hey, when we're at the convention or whatever, I'll play Pokemon. So you can't <laughs> not play Pokemon while we're playing Pokemon. <laughs> yeah, don't be a fool. Speaking <laughs> of herd mentality, <laughs> yeah, Pokemon. Yeah. I haven't played Pokemon in a long time, and I'm playing Pokemon. I'm excited for yeah. it. Yeah, Pokemon. Let's play. Pokemon. Wait, that's a different okay. one. Okay. That's, that's, that's the wrong one. All right, wrong, I'll do wrong, it. I'll play, game. guys. <laughs> Peer pressure. Okay. Team yeah. Rookie. Let's go. Let's do this. And... uh Speaking of, this is just an entire week of fun news. Uh, so uh, GDQ is coming up. It's going to be in Orlando. And so a speedrunner that does Fallout games, I think he's going to be doing Fallout 4. Um, his name is Tomato Anus. Yes? Mm, tasty. Ew. Yeah. <laughs> and so, but he's a Fallout speedrunner. And he's done other GDQs. They just, I don't think they've shown his runs on the GDQ. And so, but they're going to show this one. But they are, they're making him change his name. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what? why. No I don't way. know why. That's uh, crazy. But they're cha- he's to, changed to papaya anus. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, cause it's the tomato. That's, that's really that's more PG papaya. They're not I a agree. fan of fruit. No, Red they're not. Fruit. Red fruit. <laughs> uh, but he's changing his name to Tomato Angus. Mm. Oh, he really messed out on the papaya Angus. He did. Yeah, he was, there was an opportunity there. Tomato <laughs> Angus though, that's tastier. I like it. Well, I mean, you get to meet him on the stream now though. Yeah, me. Uh, oh, you're terrible. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, I see. You got yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and then uh some fun news there's some funny news to me, but not for people who st- who are still playing this game. Uh Mandy, you got some Fallout 76 news? Yes. yes. Yes, this is this is just strange is uh Bethesda announced that if you want to play Fallout 76 by yourself, that you can pay for your own private server. Uh, and it's going to be a subscription and that's $100 a year. So for $50, you can play on Sony with people. But for $100, you can play by yourself. Because that makes sense. I, I guess it, the idea yeah. is you want to invite only people, like your friends on the server. Is Correct. that what they want to happen? Yeah. Yeah. You own the server, so you get to control who comes in and who doesn't. Um, so you wouldn't have any random people in the game. But I actually heard from people who play that you don't encounter people very often. Because <laughs> so they're, they're not playing. Because they're not playing the game. Well, no one's th- playing. But wasn't there, wasn't there only playing. like a, a 
you know, a dozen people on your server to begin with because they wanted it to feel sparse. That's mm -hmm. one of the things they said is they didn't want you to run across a lot of people. They wanted you to occasionally cross people and then have that moment of like, are you going to shoot me? Yeah. I, are you going to give me something? I don't know what to do. Uh, so like the idea that they built the game to be so like uh, uh, sparse and then to come in and be like, well, if you want it, to be even more, more narrow. <laughs> uh, Pay a hundred dollars. I feel like a game who has uh, come across so many setbacks within its lifespan um, for this to be gated behind another price point, while I understand they probably need money to work on this to yeah. make it a better game, is kind of a hard sell for people who've kind of gotten burned on the, uh, the poor quality that the game has presented. Uh, in the past, so I'm really curious who's actually going to buy this because it's more than just a server. It's also oh, yes. certain perks and, mm -hmm. and sure. things, it, and a, 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 a box, a storage box that you have unlimited things right. and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, personally, I haven't, I haven't gotten into the game, but I almost feel like, hey, if I stuck it out this far and I'm still playing that, you owe me <laughs> those perks yeah. instead of making me pay a monthly subscription for it. Maybe I'm being mean. No, none of the rest of us are playing 76. So this is a good question for AJ, our research assistant. Uh, AJ is still playing 76. So if you could give us your feedback, we would appreciate it. Yeah. What, yeah. Do, you, what do you feel about this new um, price point? Ba basically, AJ is also playing Sea of Thieves still. So I don't really... Hey, he, he likes to play some sparse games. That's play perfectly some sparse fine. games where no one's playing. And he likes to play by himself. <laughs> yeah. And if you want to see AJ's response, oh God, no. uh, look oh on our God. Instagram. It'll probably be on there. <laughs> oh my yes. God. Yeah. The comment section of every episode uh, debut. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. And then uh, we're going to talk about some, some delays that have been announced um, and possibly rumored. So there's a rumor that Last of Us 2 has been delayed to spring. Rumors. Rumors. That got creepy somehow. <laughs> I, I know, I, yeah, I was trying to be like more sensual, but no, didn't come it got off. creepy <laughs> immediately. Uh, but yeah, it's supposed to release in February. Uh, that was just announced. They had an entire state of play for it last yeah, month that we talked about. Date yeah. announced, like, and uh, so hopefully that's not the case. But we'll see. <laughs> well, or if they're delaying it, hopefully they're delaying it so their people can be with their families and yeah. have vacation that and too. take breaks. And you know what? No matter yeah. what, I pre-ordered it. So they delay it two <laughs> years and it's there. So. <laughs> they still got your money. Whatever. <laughs> and then things that have definitely been delayed because they've been announced, uh, Watch Dog Legions, um, uh, Rainbow Six Quarantine, and Gods and Monsters have all been delayed to at least spring 2020. So Okay. That's great. Watch yeah. Dogs Legions. I was going to come out a month before Animal Crossing. Yes. I think. Needs time. For then what they're fine. doing, they need. Oh the time. yeah, I'd rather they delay it and it's good. Exactly. Yeah, absolutely. Because they're doing some complicated stuff with Fix that game. Fix them bugs, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be. Unless the bugs are hilarious, like uh, WWE. Oh, then uh, leave 2K. the bugs in leave and the then bugs. fix them later. I want to oh. be, be the grandma <laughs> with like a weird, like young, like man's face. Oh. Yeah, yeah but yeah. what if that that grandma all of a sudden oh. started walking on her knees <laughs> and then just started ricocheting <laughs> around the area, bouncing. spinning? Or what if only know? her eyes popped in mm -hmm. and then none of her face? Mm -hmm. Oh man! But just her teeth, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd play that. Now we're talking. Uh, yeah. I'd play that game. You know play it right now. <laughs> Give me that glitch mode. How amazing would it be if if one company was like, "Hey guys, I'm sorry, we're not going to make our February 20th release date. It's going to be December, <laughs> two months prior." You want to know why? Because right. it's today. It's today. <laughs> Shadow drop. <laughs> That'd be awesome. Actually. That would be cool. Uh, and but then, no. um, last rumor. bit of news. It's a rumor. Rumors. Rumors. I have to take the gruff out of it. I can't go rumors. Go, yeah. That's yeah. not okay. Yeah, that you sounds like you're going to kill yeah. someone. Right. Yeah. I'll you see have, if it pops you have up to again. It. It's like not Batman. Like it. Yeah. Okay. I'll, I'll try it again. We'll, we'll see. Get it. It. We'll get we'll it. Give it a, give it a, yeah. give it a while. And then, uh, last bit of news. Uh, so, I think, what was it, two months ago, three months ago, Ninja moved to to Mixer, Ninja the streamer, uh, who was, you know, at the time, one of the biggest, if not the biggest streamers. Mm -hmm. um, and so today, or, you know, a couple of days ago, if you're listening to this, uh, it was uh, Shroud, who is pretty much the current biggest person on Twitch. Rumor. Uh, has been confirmed. <laughs> what was what were you trying to go for that time? I don't he, know. He, he also made an announcement video, but it actually had a little bit of humor in it uh, of him moving to Mixer. So he is also going to Mixer, and uh, we'll see how that cool. goes. Cool. Nice. They've really dominated Twitch for a while. Oh, yeah. Shroud and Ninja, so. Yeah, he has. And then, like, in February, even before Ninja had moved, in February, he had the most watched hours on Twitch. 
wow. uh, for that month for, of an individual person. It was 15 million hours he was watched. Wow. Which is crazy. All right. Insane town. Diversify. Yeah. Doing so, it. hey, good luck to him. Well, They'll enjoy Mixer until something else pops up and they move to, yeah. <laughs> oh, 100%. to the next thing. So you know. Yeah. Progress. Do what you can. Yeah. yeah. Money. Money, money, money. So, yeah, that was the, uh, the end of our news segment. Nice. You know, you know Brian, yeah. uh, Mandy and I, we went out to get some lunch today. And we went to a place where you can get some sandwiches of a um, submarine type. Ooh. It, it's like a way to get a sub sandwich. Okay. Uh, and I have different sandwiches I get. I like a good tuna with some bacon on it. Mm-hmm. I like a nice Italian, uh, spicy Italian. I enjoy a good meatball. But I, I'm looking to shift it up. I need a new type of sub. And I, I just don't know what kind of sub I want to get going forward. Hmm. Like, Are you looking eh. for a spicy sub? You know what? A little no. Okay, I kind of like spice, but I'm not looking for something super spicy. Okay, um, like, like so. Do you want it like flavorful? Okay, do you want it like hot or do you want it cold? I mean, it could be hot or cold. Okay, but really, right. as long as the taste is something. I can't think of the word, uh, Lewis. Um, I need I, the taste to be. I, maybe it could be, and I could be wrong. Tasty. Yes. Oh yeah. Ooh. Tasty. Ooh. I, need it, tasty. I need it to be tasty, but right? what can yeah. I call that sub? Oh God, I don't know. I don't know. I mean, tasty. You just call it a tasty sandwich, but that's boring. No. It yeah. Sandwich is yeah. boring. No, it's got to top other things. You're right. You know? It does have to top And I don't want to be like, ick and it, when I eat I, it. I feel you. And it has to be what everyone's talking about. Right. That's yeah. that sandwich, yeah. you know? Yeah. So I don't know what that would be. I, I think it has to be a tasty topic. Slurp. <laughs> Make sure to get the combo. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Because you don't want to be, you know, thirsty after the end. No, no definitely no. not. Definitely, definitely not. <laughs> but we won't be thirsty after this because our tasty topic is Joe. What do you got? Yeah. Uh, well, with Halloween coming up, uh, I was thinking about it earlier in the week. Uh, what are you guys' uh, favorite games to play in the dark? Like games that are a little creepier, a little scarier. Things that would be awesome if the lights were off. A spooky. Spooky. <laughs> Oh, I, I thought about it. I figure I'll let you guys know one that really kind of bugged me when I was playing it with the lights off late at night. So that new Tomb Raider game that had come out, you know, like last year, I think it was Shadows of the Tomb Raider. Shadows of Shadows. the Tomb Raider. Yeah, okay, that one. Uh, that had a very nice, uh, horrifying area. <laughs> they were really cool. Yeah. But there would be this creepy drum music that would start, and then odd, like, I kept calling them little it clowns. Because they were Ugh. like weird zombified clown people that lived underneath everything, and there was all these little caves, and they would hunch over and like almost like hounds, they would run, and they would like jump up at you, and then like Whoa. like they had wiggly arms. It was very wow. It was very like just disjointed, and they were so sporadic and so creepy. The drum music would kick in when you would go into one of the tombs, and you'd be like, "Oh no." <laughs> no, I, I know what that means. The weird, like, it cannibal guys are going to jump out of, out, of, out of all this weird brush stuff. So I turned the lights on. So I, was, I was very uncomfortable playing that yeah. game in the dark. Cause it was like, and it was almost like it was being, like, it, I was in that cave. I'm like, I, 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 can't, I can't do this. I, I'm not about that life. So, yeah. I, I, that, that, just those pieces of that game were so scary to me. I was like, no, I'm done. I'm, I'm done good. with you. I'm yeah. good with that. Yeah. Fair enough. So, yeah. Fair enough. Uh, I'll go next. Uh, the game I... I I've played in the dark because uh, I don't play scary games. I don't play. I play. I don't play creepy games. You, you mentioned playing Control, and you were like, "This is this too is much. too much." Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't play that with the lights off. <laughs> right, right, right. And that's, oh. that's not really a scary game. No, it's, it's just not. like a tense. Yeah, yeah. it's, it's kind of almost like a thriller. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, but the game I did enjoy playing with the lights off was The Outer Wilds. Not the oh. Outer Worlds. The Outer Wilds. Not to be confused with Outer Worlds. Yes. Please, don't the Outer me. Wilds because it made me feel like I was in space. Ah. So it, it kind of, you know, did the ambiance of it all. And, I mean, there's some like some portions of that game where they are genuinely terrifying. Like, I was really? like, like, I had my heart beating, even though it's like, this is a game. Mm-hmm. But, like, the way that it, just the way everything flowed was just like, oh, God, I'm going to die. <laughs> this is what death is. Yeah, like I once got out of my ship because I was like, oh, I want to, or no, because I, I landed on something that was in space. It was very small, though. So I was like, all right, let me so get out of my ship. So I got out of my ship, and then I, I looked back, and my ship was floating away. <gasps> and I was like, oh, no, I'm going to die on this rock, <laughs> <laughs> which was very creepy with all the lights off. Yeah. And I was just like, well, I'm, time to wait out the sweet, 
uh, release of death <laughs> by myself on this asteroid. Uh, yeah, <laughs> loneliness, the ultimate fear. <laughs> no, I decided to embrace it. I jumped off the asteroid and Aww. I tried to make it to a planet. Go back and go home, man. <laughs> yeah, good for you. And I was just floating in the vastness of space with, and I didn't make it. Yeah. <laughs> it, was, it was a very long ten minutes of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> very peaceful. Yeah, very peaceful with all the lights off. <laughs> so yeah, that was my game. Um, uh, my game was uh, I Outlast. That uh, that kind. It's not old, but it's older uh, horror. It's um, the cell phone. Game. Uh, or like or the, the old the camera. camera. Yeah, where yeah, it's all the yeah, infrared. Video camera. Yeah, yeah, where um, you can either put the camera up so you can see in the dark or put the camera down and you can't see in the dark mm-hmm. and you can't attack you can't fight back you just run and you look at things through your camera and then the battery will die so then you can't use the light of the camera anymore so then you can just see nothing and you have to find batteries in the dark that game is absolutely fun as hell to play in the dark when I say fun I mean fun for me absolutely terrifying for other people were you scared? <laughs> Um, no, but, uh, I do a weird thing when things like tense happen where like, because I genuinely think it's funny mm-hmm. when terrible things are happening. Like when I'm watching a horror movie and other people are getting scared, I like start laughing. Well, it's just how you process your fear. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah. I, Cause I don't find it scary. Like I'm not jumping or I'm not like, Oh my God, I'm, I'm just things that are scary happen. And I find it funny. You start laughing. I start laughing, and usually it's at other people. But um, in playing this game, <laughs> there was a lot of moments because I, I didn't play it by myself. I played it with like um, uh, some other people around, and their reactions. I just started like almost like maniacally <laughs> laughing <laughs> as terrible things were happening for the first time for me too. I, yeah. Like first time playing. Nice. But yeah. yeah. That's cool. All right, Outlast. Yeah. Outlast. So um, I'm a wimp. Uh, I don't like playing yeah. scary video games. <laughs> I, I I was saying earlier that I don't even like sitting in the dark with the lights are on. I like I'm Wait, like I'm sitting that. in the dark with the lights on. Yeah, yeah. I am scared of everything. <laughs> so just sitting in a regular room. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't like jump scares. I don't like scary music. I don't like scary scenes. I don't like scary stories. The only type of scary story I ever hear, the only time I experience a scary movie or a scary video game, is when Troy plays it and then he explains it to me afterwards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I um, watched Get Out, and then I I, rou- I gave a rousing tale campfire style to Mandy, since she would never see the movie, mm-hmm. uh, to still experience it, sort of, secondhand. <laughs> yeah, I'm I very like up on secondhand horror second stories. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm the so same way. <laughs> Every single horror movie that I do kind of want to see, I just go to the moviespoiler.com, and then they have <laughs> oh. somebody like, uh, like, uh, like a very thorough synopsis of the entire movie. It's like, all right, that was a good movie. <laughs> <laughs> Wow. Um, but but my friend Marlent really wanted the group of us to play PT when it came out. Yes. Uh, so we sat and played. I think we played half of it in the dark. I don't think we got through all of it. I'm pretty <laughs> sure at a certain it. point. We, oh, we played thing. all of it, yeah. but not in the dark. Oh, Probably <laughs> the certain, last half in the yeah. dark, maybe? I don't remember. There was definitely a point where we turned the lights up. <laughs> really? Okay. Uh, but that was uh, very scary. Uh, mostly because uh, the thing that probably terrifies me the most is being at the house by myself where all of the serial killers are just outside of the windows staring oh, of course. at me. Yeah, uh, and this what the, this that's what this game is. Is it's just you you're just home alone, especially for like the first half of the game because nothing scary is actually happening. Mm-hmm. It's just the thought that something scary is supposed to happen with the music and the scenes and the like just the anxiety of it. Uh-huh. Um, so so that was mine. Yeah, the uh, um, PT stands for pure terror. Yeah, it was terrifying. <laughs> you're just walking down a hallway. In yeah. case you didn't know. <laughs> oh, and the saddest part about PT is if you haven't played it before, you, you, you can't. can't play it. It's, yeah, yeah. It's, it's gone for PlayStations that still have PT downloaded onto their uh, hardware are upwards to like thousands of dollars. Really? Yeah, buy, people sell yeah. them. Yeah. Because you can't get it anywhere else. I got They it. just sell the whole. Yeah, you could sell your, your PlayStation Whoa. 4 for a lot of money. Yeah. Because I still have it on there. Nice. Yeah. Well, yeah. then there you go. All right. <laughs> money. You, but you have to give them your PlayStation account, too. Right. Yeah. yeah. Give it all oh. up. Yeah, you well, can't just give them your. your Never mind. Oh, right yeah, any yeah. other games you've played are now theirs too, or yeah, that you paid for that digitally. Anymore. Yeah, because right. you have to be that person yeah. in order to. Oh, yes, access I don't want to do that. It's not a good deal. No, I okay. mean, <laughs> if you're into that sort of thing, then fine. So I'm not making any money. Whatever. Or some people who made dummy accounts just to get that game before it went under. Mm-hmm. Under, they're making money. That would have been oh, smart. Yeah. That would have been smart. <laughs> <laughs> would have been. And then uh, Troy, you're the last one. All right, I'm going last back man. to the late 2000s. I think it's 2009 with Silent Hill: Shattered Memories. 
Uh, this is a game that uh, I played. It was for the Wii. I played. All right, let me set the let me set the quick uh, scenario here. <laughs> I uh, this is before I met Mandy, or we were dating. Mm-hmm. So I am uh, single. Um, <laughs> between shows, which we call in the acting industry, outside the industry, we call it unemployed. Uh, in my mom's house, uh, moved back in after uh, dropping out of, co- out of college, and uh, I'm in my room alone, playing uh, Silent Hill: Shattered Memories, which is scary enough. Mm-hmm. You get a little Wiimote, which is your flashlight, kind of like Lewis with your Outlast thing. You don't fight; you just run away and then you know try to survive. And it's a remake of the original Silent Hill, uh, or a spy inspired by. But between the actual gameplay moments, they put you into a psychiatrist's office where he asks you questions. Either, you know, do you think this ink plot is a, what do you think this ink plot is? Is it a butterfly? Is it, is it a, a nurse? Is it a cobra? And you kind of answer from there. Or, or maybe he'll have you draw a house. And then what you do in those psychiatry sessions translates to the next chapter of the game. So, like, I drew the house, you know, purple and, and, and blue. And then the house that I was playing in next was purple and blue. So it would actually affect. That's cool. And it came. It even got you to the point where it starts analyzing your personality. Pretty much you're doing a personality test. What mm-hmm. are you afraid of? So I ended up with the villains because of the answers being like these weird, um, like zombie sexy nurse clowns. <laughs> hey, I'm down. <laughs> which, All right. Yeah. Which is scary, not just because they're like jumping out at you, but because is that really what's going on in my mind? <laughs> and now I'm like thinking about my own life choices and I'm there alone between jobs. Like, oh, what am I doing? With me? <laughs> like what's going on here? And it's all dark. It's like one in the afternoon, <laughs> Just, you know, cut out all the, all the lights, all the, all the windows. Uh, and I would say like, that's probably the, the scariest and lowest video game <laughs> experience, which is the best way to do it. I oh, mean, I was just, you know, I was trying to make it an authentic experience. <laughs> um, so I'm happy to have done so. Uh, that's pretty great. <laughs> uh, happy, that's pretty fantastic. Happy Halloween. <laughs> it's, that, that sounds very spooky. spooky. It was spooky. Yeah. I don't know if any of you guys had an honorable mention for me was uh, so I had a, a an old roommate who I believe there's an aliens game that had come out for the PC uh probably early two thousands ish, like two thousand two, two thousand three. He played it with the lights off, he played it with all the every like he would completely black out his room. So like one day I knocked him there and it just sounded like creaking and weird. Ooh. Oh yeah, like he it was very it was a really. If I was playing this game, I'd probably have a heart attack. Now. <laughs> like I, I don't do anything with the lights off, so it's very like like I need light all the time. He played this game, and I I, I think I was freaking out just walking over to his room, and be like, dude, do you do you want to play Naruto with us out here? And you could hear like the ship creaking, and you could hear things walking because he had really good speakers in his room. It was like, dude, dude, are you alive? I don't I don't know what's happening. When he when he opened his door, it was so dark. It was like like almost like Indiana Jones level, like like the the cave door opened, the light streamed in, <laughs> like you, dust came. You could see like it oh, was wow. insane. That game, that just listening to that game in the light was scary. Yikes. <laughs> what yeah. game was that? It was I think it was an Aliens game. I just oh, can't Aliens yeah, Resurrection. Maybe yeah. that's what it was. Yeah. Yeah, my roommate played that. It was horrifying. Oh my god! Yeah. <laughs> it was horrifying. That was almost the thing that bothered me most when it came to like what games you would play in the dark. I'm like I would totally let someone else play that and With then, me in and the then I would sit in the light and they could play in the part. dark and I would, I would watch it that way we'll put Animal Crossing music on exactly and pictures right. of cats and stuffed animals and we can sit there in our safe space and watch across the room yeah. KK Slatter as our personal DJ yes. Yes. Yep. that's the only way to make it better Yeah, the alien pops out and it's like <laughs> That's what changes it. That's what does it for you. Oh man, imagine the xenomorph in Animal Crossing. <laughs> oh man, the xenomorph just honks. <laughs> the xenomorph down. would run from that goose. Yeah, <laughs> you know, fair enough. <laughs> All right, Untitled well, Goose is the scariest game I've played <laughs> <laughs> this year. Uh, good, uh, good topic there, Joe. Appreciate that. You're welcome. I yeah. dig it. Spooky. Spooky. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and now it brings us now to our Dragon of the Week. Two. Do, do, do. It's the dragon of the week. We're on a streak. It's the dragon of the week. It'll make you shriek. Dragon of the week. Dragon of the week. (laughs) (laughs) Sound like a tiny horse. Sound like a tiny (laughs) baby horse. (laughs) And uh, as always, Dragon of the Week is our our little segment to 
to have somebody who's not really well known or somebody who's very well known, you know, and give a little information on them. Shout yeah. out some love. love, yeah. yeah shout out some yeah. love. So, uh, Lewis, yeah. because you are back, and uh, we need a break from this. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you have been designated as our person who's going to be delivering the dragon of the week. So, what do you got for us? Beautiful. Um, so, I had mentioned The Last of Us before. Um, and I have the composer for The Last of Us game, nice. which, as far as I can tell or remember, you guys have not talked about him. You are <laughs> no, correct. No. I don't believe so. If I remember correctly. Cool. His name is, and please, I am so sorry if I say this name incorrectly, because I definitely will say the last name incorrectly. <laughs> say it slowly. Um, Gustavo Santaolalla. All right. Yeah. Gustavo. Gustavo. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go with Gustavo. Um, so Last of Us was the first and I think only game series, now game series, that he ever composed music for. Um, before that, he, he, uh, he did more film work. And before that, he was mainly a solo um, recording artist from uh, Argentina. And the movies he had done before, he had done Brokeback Mountain, um, Babel, um, nice. And uh, also, he did the he composed the theme music for Making a Murder. All right, um, these are all good good movies. Yeah, and actually, the thing that I find mo- most interesting about him is that he does not know how to read or write music. Really, at I all. thought you were just gonna say he doesn't know how to read or write, and I was like, that is fascinating. Oh, music, yes, that makes sense. Music I mean, composer, please continue. In, yes, in the music world, that's pretty much the same thing. Yeah. You can't yeah. read or write. That's yeah. incredible. Yeah, he doesn't. Know, he doesn't. And he doesn't when he because when he as he's recording he's composing at the same exact time he doesn't compose beforehand hmm. he's d- he's doing both simultaneously um, and for the Last of Us um, the thing that he wanted to do the most was kind of create this uh, feeling of um, scarcity which is what the game really is about and like not having enough in the world and most of the world being gone so he he uh, he took instruments that he's never played before at to and he played them in order to show a almost a side of um, like youth, but also like of um, like confusion because he had no idea how to play these instruments, mm. which gave it these dissonant sounds. And he would um, play untuned guitars and he would use like inanimate objects to make um, the music, the beautiful music that we love for the game. Um, and, um, yeah, I just find I find him fascinating because I mean he's he's only doing this game and he's doing the second game right now, but um, he's someone who incorporates because I've listened to his other music. He incorporates a lot of emotion and a lot of thought behind everything. So even though he doesn't compose beforehand, he's discovering things mm-hmm. as he's composing, as he's recording, and it kind of gives uh, gives each piece of music that he writes a sense of um, uh, of like I don't know. Um, uh, I don't even know the word. Almost like a sense of you—you you can hear the birth of the music. Discovery. Discovery, as yeah. I said, discovery. Yeah. Is it a sense of discovery, which is what he did with The Last of Us, which is really nice as you find him uh, uncovering these notes and these sounds. You're uncovering the game, and you're trying to make your way through the world as he's trying to make his way through um, these unknown musical instruments. Um, does, does he play all the instruments himself, or does he have like people he does who play everything with him? himself? He doesn't seriously. Oh, yeah. There's yeah, no does, orchestra. There's no. no he doesn't use just, an orchestra. So it's, it's just, just one always person him, playing him. all the songs. Really? Okay. Yeah. I was yeah. gonna say it'd be hard to convey right. the music to yeah. play with another person if you couldn't write it down. No, yeah, you're right. But, but if he, he does everything himself. He does everything himself. Sense. He doesn't use an orchestra. He doesn't use um, a, a band. And with the Last of Us, it was all it was all him. Was he was he featured at E3 when they did that song at the? I think he's the one that actually played ago? it. Yeah, two E3s three ago. I think so. I think so. Yeah. yeah, I think yeah, I think he was the one that was playing in during the that weird concert church yeah. thing. Yeah. yeah, I think so. Cool. Uh, um, but yeah, he does all the instruments himself. So if you listen to The Last of Us and you hear a bunch of instruments, that's all him. It's Gustavo. Well, that's he Gustavo. Was, that's Gustavo. He, he had to play that. You hear that? He's that's the only Gustavo. one who's. He's, he's the, only, the only one who knows how. Yeah. <laughs> he's the only one. He didn't, he didn't <laughs> teach anyone. He can't write it. If yeah. you're wondering, he's, he's the last of us. It's Gustavo. He is, <laughs> he is the last. Yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know. And I just thought it was interesting. I've never really. Because um, I know most composers tend to write their music beforehand. Mm-hmm. Um, so. 
that's just something that was fascinating about him. Yeah, that's a really cool uh, approach to it. And also the idea of doing it by yourself. Like, even if he didn't just make it up as uh, as he's feeling it out, just the fact that he's his own orchestra yeah. for a triple A game one of the most hotly you know anticipated games of all time not yeah. well the next one coming up but also the last one is regarded one of the best games ever made a period yeah. yeah to think that's one person in charge of the one of the most important aspects of that game which that's is the music that's usually a department <laughs> I know. yeah no, exactly and what when, trust when they were trying to find um, someone to compose the music for the game they were mentioning a bunch of songs of like in sources of inspiration like the two developers Dreckman and I don't remember the other guy. The other guy. The other guy. Um, I think his name is Nathan Drake. Yes. Yeah, there you go. Nathan Drake. Yeah. Yes. Um, <laughs> they were coming up with a bunch of songs uh, for sources of inspiration for what they wanted the world to sound like. And a bunch of the songs they were listing were Gustavo's songs right. from his from his albums previously. So they asked him to do it, and they were still a little hesitant. And then the first song he wrote was the theme song, The Last of Us. <laughs> and automatically they were like, okay, yep, that's what we want. Give mm-hmm. us that all the time Con- yeah and he's like it's gustavo yes yeah. considering the amount of music that goes into a video game like the just the the pure like number count the hours of you playing mm-hmm, that game mm-hmm. and how the the music doesn't sound very repetitive having one person do hundreds of hours of that's that again still astounding yeah, that's amazing and i'm so happy he's it would it would be weird if he wasn't doing the music for the second one right yeah it, it wouldn't make sense <laughs> Well, so, so the Last of Us theme was the first of them that he did, the yeah. first of them, the first of yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> the <last> of us. <laughs> yes, you're terrible. Well, I'm and glad he's it. doing that, and I'm I'm glad that you uh, brought this dragon to us. Thanks, yeah. me too. I told you it was a quick one, but yeah, no, perfect. That's fu- hey, that's perfect. You buttoned it up, buttoned it up. Yeah. <laughs> Mm. You know, and thanks for coming back and being with us. Yeah, sir. man. Indeed. You, you got off directly off of a plane. I did. And came here. Immediately. To talk to us. I did. <laughs> I know, was really Lewis? surprised they landed in the parking lot, but I mean, <laughs> I it was know. nice of you to convince them. They may, I know. I was like, oh, wow. It landed. There's enough <laughs> space, kind of. Uh, there's, a, there's a car over there. It's a little We crushed. stopped traffic, but that's fine. Yeah, yeah. Traf- traffic can handle it. Well. <laughs> hey, University Drive. There's not that many people on. Yeah. Fine. <laughs> you know? <laughs> but yeah, glad I came. Yeah, that's no, that's fine. <laughs> you're perfectly fine there, sir. That's um, right. You're our personal dragon of this of podcast. That's right. that's right. At least this week. This week. At least. Yeah. <laughs> Next week. Well, yeah, you can't, you can't be dragon of the week because that's Gustavo. But yeah, dragon Gustavo. of the podcast, sure. Yeah. yeah. Sure. Ooh, yeah. Oh, that's Lewis. That's Lewis. Oh, and that. we got you this award. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's totally here. Yeah. yeah. And real. I love it. Oh, man. You guys made this? That's I can't right. believe it. Not D- pantomimed. No. Nope. Nope. It's a, it's a <laughs> stack of stickers. There it is. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, nicely done, nicely done. Well, that brings us to the end of the episode. Wow. La, 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 la. As always, we record live upstairs inside of Tate's Comics, powered by our friends with 2000 Brigade. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And um, you can always find us online. That's right. You can check us out on Twitter for day to day updates on all things gaming related. We like to keep our finger on the pulse of the gaming universe heart. Tweet, tweet. Uh, yeah, tweet, tweet. You can check us out on Instagram where we have a couple of fun features, Ranking of Dragons, our quest to rank every video game dragon in video game history, and this week in gaming history, uh, look at this week in gaming history. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Good. Comment, like, subscribe. Yeah, check it out there. That's right. We, we just need 10 more likes on Instagram to get them sweet analytics. Mm. Sweet we analytics. love us some numbers. Gotta yeah. get to 100. Give us Good hundy. So if you and, haven't done that yet, we appreciate it. And we want to know what you think. Yeah. Oh, that too. Give yeah. us your brain space. Yeah. yeah. Give us your opinions. Yeah, we would like that. And we also uh, had a sweet milestone. We passed 1,000 downloads total. Woot, So we like to, you know, th- say thank you to all you guys and, and people and everyone in the world. And dragons out there. Dragons. Dragons. Yeah. Old and new. Mm. <laughs> yeah, we appreciate that. So thank you very much. And uh, yeah, yeah, I guess that's the end of the episode. All right. Man. And that's it. Yeah. Well, again, my name is Brian. I'm Amanda. I'm Troy. I'm Joe. And uh, our very, very, very God of the Week special guest. I'm Lewis. <laughs> wow, very godlike. Thank you. I try. He's just sad he's going to, you know, he can't talk anymore. I let's, know. Let's man. try it again. Like, our our guests of dragons, our GOD, our gods of the week, Louis. 
Yes. <laughs> Take well, that microphone levels. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Way to nail that red line. <laughs> yeah. Curse word them. Right? <laughs> yeah. Well, you just curse worded Joe because oh. she's got to fix that. The funny thing is, is I'm, Joe's just going to bleep this out. <laughs> I'm so sorry. These are things I do. I apologize for. I mean, she edited our entire ending into our beginning last episode. <laughs> Damn, that's gold. It's very impressive. Yeah, that, that was pretty great. Take skills. Joe is okay. It was okay. I didn't notice. I, I, I think I just noticed everything. <laughs> so I listened it. to it. I was like, oh, man, I could have blended that better. It's so obvious, but it wasn't at all. It wasn't. No. All right, that's good. Thanks. Not at I all. I appreciate Not that. Well, have a great week, everyone. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye. Bye.